Gail Davis. I remember being interested in art even as a small child. Um, my mother was a painter. Um, she always had art supplies around and so, and we were always making something either out of mud or buttons or paint or, you know, something was always being created. Um, I first became interested or exposed to uh, clay in high school when my mother signed me up for a um, pottery class at a local um, arts community center where uh, local artists taught classes in painting or pottery, um, some stone sculpture. They had a great program, uh, similar to something that we're trying to do here. Um, and that's where I first um, learned how to throw pottery or was just first uh, exposed to uh, pottery techniques, which I kind of held on to a little bit through high school and um, into college. Um, still did the same thing with uh, the money I got for uh, our wedding. I bought a pottery wheel <laughs> and um, eventually was given a kiln and so tried to keep up with pottery, you know, just, th just through the years. There's one lonely shadow tonight through my window. Silence makes a cold, lonesome sound. I'm thinking, I'm drinking, I'm sinking so low, just like that old sun going down. I've had too much time on my hands since you're gone. Chained to your memory, chilled to the bone. How long can this heartbreak and keep hanging on? Blue moon rising. school I attended Auburn University in, uh, in Auburn, Alabama. Uh, I do have a bachelor's degree in uh, fine art. Uh, while my concentration was in painting, um, my main interest has been sculpture and clay as a medium in general. So the, uh, the pottery class that I took in high school was in the late 80s. So I've been doing pottery for 30 years now um, and just clay in general. Um, Ten years ago, I started doing mosaics as uh, kind of a way to cope with uh, some empty nest syndrome when my son went away to college. And um, I really enjoyed that because it's something that, well, first it took up a lot of minutes of the day, so I didn't have to think about <laughs> at the uh, empty house. And um, I really liked the results, and so that's what I kind of focused on as far as my art um, the past probably ten years I, I do mostly clay mosaics, I make my own tiles. Um, lately I've been uh, experimenting with mixing uh, the glass and the clay with the mosaics, and so that's a lot of fun and exciting. I'll probably keep doing that. A lot of students start the class um, not knowing what their own capabilities are, and so the most wonderful thing that I, I see is um, that they all exceed their capabilities. They um, I like when somebody shoots for something a little bit above um, their skill set and then they're able to achieve that with a little help and um, it just gets them started on, on hopefully a life, uh, a lifelong love of clay like I've had and learning. It's, it's just um, the most versatile medium. I mean there's something um, primal uh, you know, about it. It's probably the first uh, artistic medium there was. <laughs> Um, and it's utilitarian, it's uh, beautiful, so I, I, um, I love everything about it and I, I, I want everybody to love everything about it too. But the students are really, I think I learn just as much from the students as hopefully they're learning from me and just their, um, their fearlessness is, is wonderful, you know, it makes me take chances. Um, the things that they actually succeed at, some things that I think, you know, might break uh, that don't and, and just their, um, just their courage is, is really a, a wonderful thing to see. My experience through that art center and kind of what we're trying to do here, which is um, 
like I say, my, my interest was first sparked at this art community center, and that's why I'm just so excited and like pleased and just on fire um, to have something similar here where we have painting classes and um, clay making classes and eventually maybe you know, glass blowing or metal sculpture, or, um, songwriting, you know, all, you know, just all kinds of arts things for the community and I think that's a wonderful um, expression of love for your community is, is to teach, um, teach your skills to the, to the next set and so I'm glad to be kind of trying to carry on that tradition that, I, that was given me um, to try to share with other people too. <laughs> There's one lonely shadow denied through my window. Silence I think um, failure is a very important part of the art process. I think you learn um, a lot more from the failures than you do from good advice and the successes that you have. And so, um, yeah, I think if you're not failing, if you're not failing sometimes, I just think you're not trying hard enough to push the limits of, you know, to push the boundaries of your own. Um, own possibilities. So yeah, I, I'm not scared of failure. Um, I mean, I don't like it, but <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> Heartbreak. 